I'm mostly excited about getting all of these new features in front of, uh, front of our customers. We want to hear more of the feedback back to us so we can make their computing experiences even better. My name is Aleš Holacek and I'm the Vice President of Development for uh, the Windows platform. We have focused quite a bit on uh, more, uh, more usability, new form factors, um, larger screens, smaller screens, higher DPI, a lot of improvement just in the user experience, but obviously there is going to be a lot of cool stuff which the developers can do with, uh, with the operating system. There is a long list of very cool, uh, very cool things which we have done. Um, so the first one, which I think that uh, everybody should be uh, very excited, is the access to various different uh, devices, access uh, to the USB uh, USB stack, so you can connect to a number of different uh, number of different uh, gadgets and GPSs and devices and whatnot. Uh, similarly, uh, access to Bluetooth in, in a way that you can connect again to. Um, uh, low power devices uh, in your house, home automation, um, robots, things which really allow the, uh, the PCs and the, and the tablets start to interact with its surroundings. Like I think that those things will be very, very exciting uh, going forward. We are starting to really pay attention and focus to uh, uh, indie, uh, indie developers. We think that uh, uh, gaming is a super important part of um, what uh, people like to enjoy. We are continuing the innovation and in, uh, uh, DirectX, uh, we have introduced something which is called Tiled Resources. Um, this is a, a predominantly thing which allows developers to build huge worlds um, and page them dynamically, um, uh, dynamically into, uh, onto the GPU, into the video memory. Hello Spartan, awesome game. It's really starting to demonstrate sort of the potential of, uh, of the platform and, and giving the uh, developers the reach from simple, simple tablets all the way up to uh, full-size PCs. There's an interesting set of solutions, particularly around the touch input and how the touch input gets in integrated into the game uh, to make sure that the game is really playable uh, on not just touch devices, but devices which have keyboards and mice and, and uh, going forward even, uh, even game controllers. In addition to that, we have made a, um, a deal with uh, our friends at Unity uh, which now brings Unity to the Windows platform and developers who are building games can now use Unity as a engine or middleware which they can, uh, which they can build their, uh, their games on. And so right now it is as simple as effectively exporting a new project and hitting F5 in a Visual Studio out of the Unity Pro, um, a Pro Editor. The interesting thing is that people don't know, it's not that they don't want to do it, but they don't know that it's actually possible and it's this easy and we have done a lot of work to uh, uh, to reduce the cost for developers to, uh, to reach the Windows ecosystem. We talked to a lot of uh, indie gamers where they were saying, look, we are building for iOS and Android and, and getting to Windows is, is kind of hard. And then when we talked to them some more and asked them how they build their apps and they tell us about, hey, we are building the apps to C++ and we are using uh, middleware engines like Unity and whatnot, uh, when we told them actually how easy it is to actually take their code base and bring it to Windows, um, they were very, very surprised. And so I, I think that the key message is Windows is a very, very uh, powerful platform which supports all of the standard technologies. We support Microsoft technologies such as C Sharp and XAML, but we also support various set of standard technologies such as C++, HTML, JavaScript, CSS. And, and those technologies are very easy to embrace uh, if you have already app written for iOS and Android which already can run on both of these systems, the, the chances are that mo moving such an app to um, Windows is going to be just a couple days of work and, and the, the investment is going to be minimal and the opportunity is obviously big. A lot of our um, code is based, based around asynchronous, um, asynchronous APIs and uh, it just turns out that debugging asynchronous APIs can be tricky and difficult. And uh, we have spent a huge amount of time making that whole process uh, to be really smooth and nice and familiar and, and bring back or, or marry the power of asynchronicity with respect to pro building responsive and low latency apps and at the same time bringing the developer experience back on par to, uh, to the one which we are all used to and uh, accustomed to from uh, just regular synchronous uh, type of debugging features. That's my highlight for Visual Studio 2013 by far.